Whenever SpaceX gears up to launch their massive Starship rocket, space fans tend to worry more about regulatory hurdles than the technical challenges of launching a rocket. And this time is no different. SpaceX has been ready for months, but the FAA kept piling on more requirements, delaying the launch repeatedly. However, this time around, there's one major player stepping in to support SpaceX, NASA. The space agency has a vested interest in seeing Starship fly, and their involvement might just be the push needed to get the launch off the ground. When we look at the space race globally, the most successful country, without a doubt, is the United States. It's been the leader in space exploration for decades. But here's the irony. While the U.S. holds the top spot in space success, it's also the most restrictive when it comes to regulations. The same country that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration is also bogging down its own progress with layers of bureaucratic red tape. This raises a big question. Just how much further along would we be if the U.S. didn't have such unnecessary and overwhelming regulations? Every time companies like SpaceX are ready to launch, they're often held back by regulatory agencies like the FAA, which keep adding more and more requirements, many of which seem to delay progress without clear benefits. Take China as a comparison. In China, if a company wants to develop a rocket, they only have to focus on building that rocket not on navigating a mountain of paperwork and getting approval from half a dozen agencies. This simplicity has taken China from having one of the worst space programs to now being a serious competitor to the United States. And the reality is, China is not just catching up. They're planning to take the lead. They don't have to deal with the same levels of regulatory paralysis. As we all know, one of the most frustrating agencies in the U.S., is the FAA, especially when it comes to SpaceX and their Starship flights. During all four Starship launches so far, SpaceX faced months of delays just waiting for launch licenses from the FAA. This has led to a lot of public frustration from Musk, to the point where he began openly criticizing the agency on social media. Musk has accused the FAA of slowing down progress with what he calls irrational regulations that serve little purpose other than adding bureaucratic layers. He even stated that humanity and life as we know it are doomed to extinction without significant regulatory reform. When it came to the preparations for Starship Flight 5, a familiar story began to unfold. Initially, the FAA announced that the launch would not take place until late November 2024, causing frustration for SpaceX and its supporters. However, in an unexpected twist, SpaceX suddenly announced an earlier launch date, October 13th. This shift surprised many, given the FAA's previous statements. This raised questions. What had changed? Why did SpaceX suddenly seem so sure of the launch after all the regulatory struggles? There were whispers that NASA may have been influencing the process behind the scenes. While SpaceX has navigated the complexities of the FAA before, this time, there appeared to be a bigger player backing them. Even though NASA's involvement seemed to help, the FAA is still very much in control of the situation. Recently, the FAA stated that it was reviewing information SpaceX submitted back in August and that the flight would be approved if all the requirements are met. The FAA's sudden shift in tone from a previously rigid stance to a more flexible review process is indeed noteworthy. Many believe that NASA's growing interest in Starship may have played a key role in this change. NASA is likely the most eager organization to see Starship take off again, aside from SpaceX itself. The space agency has big plans tied to the success of Starship, especially for its upcoming Artemis III mission, which aims to return humans to the moon for the first time since 1972. During a meeting on October 9th at the National Academy's Aeronautics and Space Engineering Board, a top NASA official made it clear that the agency is looking forward to the upcoming flight. They highlighted that NASA is not just watching from the sidelines. They are heavily invested in this launch. Starship is not just another rocket. It's the key vehicle that NASA plans to use to land astronauts on the lunar surface for Artemis III, which aims to land astronauts near the moon's south pole by 2025.
NASA's Artemis program is broken into multiple phases. Artemis 1 was an uncrewed mission, which successfully tested NASA's Space Launch System rocket and the Orion spacecraft. Artemis 2, scheduled for 2024, will carry astronauts around the moon without landing, setting the stage for Artemis 3, which is planned to take astronauts to the lunar surface. For Artemis 3, SpaceX's Starship will be used as the human landing system to transport astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. Unlike the Apollo missions, which landed in equatorial regions, Artemis 3 is set to land astronauts near the lunar south pole due to the presence of water ice. This water ice could potentially be used for future missions to produce oxygen, drinking water, or even rocket fuel, making the location strategically important for long-term exploration and settlement. The mission is complex and requires more than one starship. The primary lunar-bound starship will need to be refueled in low Earth orbit using tanker starships. This process of orbital refueling is critical for enabling the vehicle to have enough fuel to reach the moon, land, and return to lunar orbit. The Starship's large payload capacity will also allow NASA to bring more equipment and cargo to support astronauts on the lunar surface. NASA's plans don't end with Artemis III. The agency envisions Artemis Base Camp, a sustainable habitat on the moon that could support continuous human presence by the end of the decade. The Artemis missions are also intended to lay the groundwork for future missions to Mars. NASA is looking at the moon as a testing ground for the technologies and systems that will be needed for deep space exploration, including Mars missions. NASA is optimistic about the progress SpaceX is making. The company has constructed two new towers, one in Texas and another in Florida, to facilitate its launches and support these critical missions. One of the more immediate developments is that SpaceX plans to launch a super-heavy booster on Starship Flight 5, which was initially planned for Flight 6. This change could speed up NASA's plans for the Artemis program by advancing testing and development. NASA has been closely observing SpaceX's rapid progress. Unlike traditional aerospace companies, SpaceX operates differently. They take more risks and work at a faster pace, which has helped them manage the regulatory delays they've encountered. As NASA is now strongly backing SpaceX, it is likely that, once Flight 5 is successful, there will be more frequent Starship flights. This partnership is crucial for NASA's timeline for Artemis, as SpaceX is responsible for the key hardware that will take astronauts to the moon. For Starship Flight 5, SpaceX has been actively preparing. After completing integration tests, they separated the two stages of the Starship to install the flight termination system. This system is usually added just before launch, signaling that the flight is close. One of the primary objectives of this flight is to test SpaceX's innovative method of catching the Super Heavy booster using large mechanical arms attached to the launch tower a system known as Mechazilla. This method is risky, but if successful, it will be revolutionary, as it could make booster recovery much more efficient. To improve their chances, SpaceX has been upgrading both the rocket and the Mechazilla system. Even though the FAA will make the final decision on whether Flight 5 happens, NASA's backing could give SPACEX extra leverage. With all the necessary preparations in place, the FAA's approval seems likely, meaning we could witness another major milestone for SpaceX's Starship program soon. If you've stayed with us this far, we've got a special surprise just for you. We're offering a limited number of highly realistic Starship models on eBay, exclusively for our loyal viewers like you. Your dedication means a lot, so head to the description below, click the link and grab your model before they're gone. Thanks for watching and we can't wait to see you in the next video.